hey, I've got a great trick for you today. I have a hard copy of a document. I don't have the original Excel file, and I need to put this hard copy back into Excel, and I don't want to have to retype all the information. So let me show you one way I found that will definitely work. I have a printout or hard copy of the document, and so in my example, the Excel file is gone. Either the person that created it no longer works for us, or we just can't find it. Now, to test this, I actually do have the original. So I'm in Microsoft Excel. Here's what this file looks like. Here's what it looks like if you print it. Notice it's got a header at the top. Notice it's got a footer, it says report date, it's got today's date in it. And there's the data that I don't want to have to retype right in here. So let me move this out of the way. So I, I have an Epson multifunction scanner, copier, printer. So I went ahead and scanned the hard copy and here is what it looks like right here. So I'm going to open up this PDF file. I'm going to rotate it. So there's a PDF after I scanned it with my software. Just so you can see this again, there is the original Excel file that I don't actually have. So I kept, so I thought I can convert a PDF into Word and then maybe I can just simply come in here and highlight and copy this data and throw it into Excel. So let's try that first. So I'm going to right click the PDF. Open with, you can open up PDFs in Microsoft Word 2016, which I have. Word will convert the PDF, absolutely. I'm going to click OK. And that is not going to do me any good. Just so you know this, I'm going to scroll to the bottom here. It actually picked up that report date from the bottom of the report, but it put it over here. So this, this is useless to me. So I'm going to close Word. So this weekend, my scanner software was messing up and I actually had something to scan. I usually don't have to scan a lot. So I downloaded a 30-day trial, no credit card was required, of Abbey Fine Reader 14. And they had a feature in there that said it'll scan to Excel. And I said, oh, that would be really handy if you lost the Excel file or you had a large report coming from multiple Excel files and you can't even find any of them. So I'm going to open up Abby Fine Reader 14. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but on the 30-day trial, no credit card was required because the minute I have to put in a credit card, to me it's really not free because I got a call or cancel. I'm only talking about one item here and that's scan. And there's the scan to Microsoft Excel. What it's doing is going and finding my scanner, Epson XP 830. If that was not correct, I would hit select device. That would be your scanners or cameras. I'm going to hit cancel. By default, it wants to do grayscale, which is optimal. You can adjust the brightness. I'm not even going to touch that. I didn't have to touch the uh, DPI. It even tells you I like this that 300 is for normal text, 600 is for small. So I could change this. If my initial scan was missing a lot of stuff, I could make it 400 or 600. I did have to change this initially. It had A4. I went to letter. And I even like this feature, it picks up my scanner, the 830. And then it says, hey, do you want to do flatbed? Do you want to run it from the feeder? one-sided, two-sided. If you pick flatbed, and let's say you have multiple pages, well, you can only scan one page at a time on a flatbed. They have this cool feature in here where it'll continue to scan. So after it scans page one, you can set it for ever how many seconds you need to open up the scanner, pull off the one file, put the second document in there, and then it'll just start scanning again. I thought this was pretty cool, actually. But I'm going to go scan one page. 
Over here, I didn't touch this. It says formatted text. I didn't touch that. It said English. Does my hard copy or printout have images? And if so, do I want to keep them? I actually don't, but I'm just going to leave that checked. Another cool feature, if you are scanning multiple pages, do you want to create a separate worksheet for each page? So this is actually talking about Excel now. So if you had four pages, you would have four worksheets when you're done. I didn't even touch these items, so I'm not going to touch them now. Let's see if this works. It goes from that main window to what it's called is the OCR editor. Do I need to scan anymore? Am I good? I'm going to hit finish. It starts processing your scan page. It wants to save the document to Excel right now. I'm just going to hit cancel so I can show you what it did. So I'm still in Abbey Fine Reader 14. One page is over here to the left. Right here down below where I'm at is called the Zoom pane. You can either show it or hide it. I'm going to hide it for now. This is really the area over here that I care about. That is the scan document. It picked up that I had headers and footers turned on, so it says that they're text, kind of a legend here. They're in green, green down here. Notice the purple. So every, everything looks good right now. So let's go and throw this into Excel. I could have already done it. I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to call it test Chris scan. Microsoft Excel will start up, I hope. It did. Here's my Excel file. I just need to pull it over into the window here. How does that look? Uh, to be honest with you, it looks awful, but it looks awful because it picked up the borders. So let's click. Let's lose the borders. Already looking better. Uh, don't have to do this, but I'm just going to change the font. Already looking better. I don't care for that. It picked it up because it was a hard copy. There's that report date that it picked up in the footer. I don't care for that. The states are all centered now. The dates are aligned to the right. And here is an issue. Over in column H and in column I, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it a little bit either, easier. It picked these up as text, you can tell. So let's just highlight them. Convert to number. Um, I highlighted two of them and I'm looking down below to make sure that they really did change the number 0.87 4 and 3 is 7 so now this is just me what I'm worried about and I really want to test this is did the scan to Excel I know it look okay, pulled it in here correctly but are those numbers actually correct so again in real life, I wouldn't have the original file, but since I do, I'm going to take the original numbers and copy them. I'm going to come back to my scan, and I'm just going to paste the values. Um, and then the way to test this is to say, does this number equal the original number and I was expecting true and I have false and I have true so some of them work some of them don't and I can tell you why it took the original number which showed as 0.24 and it scanned it in as 0.24 but the original number is this so this is an easy fix I'm just going I just did a video on this I'm going to use the round function 
If you don't know how to look, use the round function, look up in the top right corner. There's the video I just created. I'm going to round that two decimals. So that was round the cell J2, two decimals, pull over, double click, fill down, copy it, paste the values, get rid of this. So that's the round function that I just did. So now look. The numbers that were scanned in, which are in column H and column I from Abbey Fine Reader 14, are, did come in correctly because everything says true. So that was just a test I wanted to run to see if it would work, and it did, so I can delete that. So I know I only did one page scan into Excel, but imagine doing 20 pages or 40 pages. And even to be honest with you, the way I type, I wouldn't want to retype all this, so I'm going to have to say that that's really a great feature from Abby Fine Reader. One last thing, i got to test this. Yeah, this is just driving me crazy also, so I'm going to fix it. If I don't care about doing anything with the dates, I'm fine because they look all right. But if you notice, when I select several of them, dates or numbers, but it says count, which assumes that therefore it's text. So if you wanted to change the dates real quick, that would be, I can just use the value function, dates or numbers, copy, paste values, short date. So now I could do some de analysis uh, by month quarter. Look down below. It's summing them up. It's counting them. So dates are numbers and now they're correct. Anyway, there is Abby Fine Reader 14. Um, I'm not going to sit here and talk about the price because I don't know what they charge. But you can download it for free. Uh, if I was, if I needed to use this for 10 or 15 pages and it's under two or three hundred dollars to me alone, it's already worth it because that's a lot of time spent retyping this. Thank you. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel.